I love autumn. The crisp air and vibrant colors alone make it worth the wait every year. But this year, autumn also brings lots of exciting new things to World of Warships. You can expect early access to new German battleships, Twilight Hunt, submarines and random battles, and many other features. Early access to some very interesting newcomers in our game presents the perfect opportunity to update the Hamburg port. The German battleships of the new branch are significantly different from their counterparts. They have fewer main guns, but those guns have better accuracy. They carry long-range torpedoes and numerous accurate secondary guns, and they have good concealment and are equipped with hydroacoustic search and fast damage control team. You can obtain sequentially available bundles with new Tier 3 through 9 battleships, German Eagle permanent camouflages for Prince Ruprecht and Schlieffen, German Navy permanent camouflages for Prince Heinrich and Zeton. The German Battleship's Part 1 commemorative flag, and other rewards in exchange for a new temporary resource, German tokens. Early access to Tier 10 Schlieffen is one of the lots of the new auction. The full details will be published on our website. Update 0.10.9 will also give you the ability to test yourself in personal challenges. It's a new temporary event that will reward you with German tokens and coal. To get these rewards, you need to earn base XP playing your ships to Tier 5 and above. Each player will have a personal leaderboard. Once you fulfill the requirements, you'll move on to a more difficult task. At the same time, you will have an unlimited number of attempts, and the leaderboard is reset once a week. You can complete personal challenges in co-op, random, and ranked battles. In the dark night that bridges October 31st and November 1st, hordes of dismal, evil creatures squeeze out of their shelters and creep all around the Earth. And only you can stop them. During update 0.10.9, you can save Transylvania and protect the Silver Spear Archipelago from invasion by the forces of darkness, not only at the normal and hard difficulty settings, but also at super hard difficulty. The first completion of a super hard operation with three stars or more will bring you Jack-O-Lantern Premium Containers. The third week of the update will see the beginning of a new temporary battle type, Twilight Hunt. Sixteen players will face each other in the Twilight Fleet, led by the terrifying Rasputin in a giant polygon. Destroy enemies, earn battle points, improve your ships, unlock new unique monster ships, Fangblade, Thorn Ridge, and Lobster Eye, and take them into battle. You can read more about the rules and rewards of Twilight Hunt on our website. Finally, you can enter random battles playing submarines. We're grateful for the battles you played and your constructive feedback that helped us determine the future of submarines. Over the past two months, we've collected a huge amount of data and are planning a number of improvements. For example, in this update, we've equipped most of Tier 5 through 10 cruisers and battleships with means of anti-submarine defense. Now everything is ready for you to test rental submarines in random battles. Go ahead and try out the new ship type. Thank you, Captains. You help us make World of Warships better. Last but not least, two more 3 vs 3 brawls await you, along with heaps of new content. The first brawl is for Tier 8, the second for Tier 10. The rewards for each brawl are up to 10,000 coal, 2,250,000 credits, 80,000 Elite Commander XP, and 76 combat and economic signals. To celebrate the upcoming King of the Sea tournament, we've added expendable camouflages, commanders, a commemorative flag, and the Bane of the Sea's permanent camouflage for North Carolina. And as part of our collaboration with Warhammer 40,000, new ships and commanders will be added to the game. Watch the finals of the 13th King of the Sea tournament on our channel and obtain useful in-game items. That's it. Good luck in battle, Captains.